Reverend Tony here with a spiritual challenge for you for the month of November on the theme of generosity. If you think you're up for the challenge, stick around. Before I get into this month's challenge, a quick reminder that if you haven't done so already, please like, subscribe, follow, share, leave me a comment. All that stuff helps me out a lot, and I really appreciate it. Thanks. This month's theme is generosity, and my challenge to you for this month is to practice adopting an abundance mindset. Now, there's a lot of people who talk about practicing abundance and having an attitude of abundance, taking an abundance approach. And this can lead into some types of magical thinking, like if you just have the right attitude, just think positively, just focus on what's good, just focus on the pleasant things that you'll have enough riches, you'll be lucky in love, all good things will come to you. I, I'm not talking about that kind of magical thinking treadmill. What I would like you to focus on, however, is that we have a choice when things happen to us about how we frame things. And abundance is a framework that's in opposition to a framework of scarcity, which all too many of us tend to fall into all too often, where in scarcity, there's never enough. We always focus on what we lack, what's missing, what's going to happen because we don't have enough, all of that stuff. I want to encourage you with this challenge to practice the reverse of that. Practice having an abundance mindset. Practice focusing on what's going right. Focus on what you do have. Focus on what you can control. Focus on what it is you would like to accomplish, what it is you need, and how you might get that. Abundance in this sense is a bit like the Buddhist philosophy of stepping off the path of incessant craving and need and desire, where we always want more money, more fame, more wealth, more power, more prestige, more luck and love. We want to step away from that. What we want to focus is on having enough, trusting that there will be enough. And the way that this works with abundance is that the way we frame things can help us do the best with what we have and what circumstances present us with. Having an abundance mindset does not mean neglecting the realities of financial situations or what you can and can't control. Rather, it is a positive outlook focusing on what you do have, what you can use, what your resources are, what your abilities are, how you might take what you have and make sure that you continue to have enough for what it is you need and what you want to do. Both abundance and scarcity fall into a thinking loop. Go something like this. The abundance loop begins with gratitude, genuine gratefulness at what we do have and who we are. An attitude of gratitude leads to more peace of mind. Again, think of the Buddhist practice of getting off the treadmill of constant desires. Having more peace of mind, we tend to make better choices. When we make wiser choices, this fosters positive outcomes. And when things go well, well, there's more to be grateful for, and the cycle of abundance, the loop of abundance, repeats. This is no guarantee we will make more money, be more successful, improve our situation, or be luckier in love, but it does maximize our chances of working with what we have and doing the best with what we have in this moment at this time to do what we need and achieve what we want. We may not get everything we want, but chances are better that we'll at least have what we need. Abundance doesn't focus on having a surplus and an overflowing bank account or an overflowing amount of position and power. It focuses on having and being enough. The scarcity loop, by contrast, begins with fear, usually fear of what we lack or the fear caused by what we lack and what is missing, what resources we don't have. This anxiety 
leads to being scared and we tend to make more poor choices or we tend to make poorer choices. And the unwise decision making tends to leave us in a place where we still don't have really what we need. So our fears based on a continuing lack of resources tend to increase and the cycle repeats and intensifies. What happens when we start to concentrate on having enough and trusting that if we do our part, we'll get there, we'll figure it out, we'll make a plan, we'll have enough. I know I see this as a minister a lot in churches where churches make budgets and then base everything they're going to do and everything they're capable of on what money they have. If they don't have enough money for everything they want to do, they cut staff, they cut programs, they cut support of community partners, and it's really the opposite of how we want to function out of abundance. Abundance asks, what do we want? If we're in a church situation, what's our congregation's mission? Where do we want to go? What do we want to accomplish? Why are we here? What do we need to do that? Well, is that beyond where we're at right now in terms of our resources? And if it is, how do we get the resources we need to accomplish our mission and go where we want to go? I think we spend so much time worrying about what's missing and what's going to happen if we don't quite have enough that we never get around to working on how we have enough, how we make sure that there's always enough resources to do what's needed, what we're called to do, who we're called to be. Sometimes it just begins with reframing how we think of things. That's my challenge to you for this month. Practice adopting an abundance mindset. You can take this into all areas of your life. Certainly you can take it into your financial situation. You can take it into your personal life. You can take it into your work life. You can take it into family life. What do you have? What's working? What's going well? What resources are present? What are you able to do right now? And think about where it is you want to go. What would you like to have? What do you need? And then think, how might you get those things? Instead of fretting over what's not present or what's going to happen if you don't get enough, trust you'll get enough. Get to work. Use your resources. Plan well. Take advantage of the things that are already present and going right to make things better. What do you think about this challenge? I'd love to hear what you think of my challenge. I'd love to hear what happened when you gave it a shot for a month and tried to really reframe, retrain your thinking to keep focusing on having enough, getting away from that fear of what you don't have, fear of what you lack. Thanks for watching. Good luck with the challenge. Until next time, go in peace. If you enjoyed this month's spiritual challenge video, please like this video and share it with others. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, and please leave me a comment. I'd love to know what you think about this month's spiritual challenge. Check out my website and blog at TonyLorenzen.com for even more resources that will open your mind, touch your heart, and inspire your spirit.